Before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a favour. Number one, like the video. Also comment, let me know your thoughts on the story. The date was June 24th of 2022, just before 11.30am. Dublin gangster Gary Carey, dubbed the Canary, had pulled into the underground car park of the Hilton Hotel in Kilmainham in order to use their gym facilities. Now Gary Carey was known for his gang ties and the victim of multiple M attempts on his life, such as the November 21st incident where Gary was shot twice while sitting in a car outside the house in Ballyfarmot, and also being shot for a second time in March of the same year where Amal graced his head. Now it made sense for Gary who was known for his drug dealing in the capital and attempted to take over patches that were used by dangerous and formidable gangsters and crime families such as the family and also Brian Rattigan and a gang fronted by Derek D.D. O'Driscoll. Now there were three separate crime gangs that wanted Gary dead. Now Gary was known for extorting other gangsters and also taking their gear and also having a catch of GUNs himself and he fled Ireland for Spain. However, after speaking with Dublin's biggest crime cartels such as The Firm and The Kinnahans, every major player assured Gary that it was safe for him to return home. This was a plot to M and Man in what was described as a carefully planned trap. Now the gang had followed Gary in a silver Audi A4 along the South Circular Road before pulling into the Hilton's underground car park, parking a few spaces from Gary. Now Gary was ambushed by a lone trigger man who pointed a GUN at Gary and waited for him to turn. On instinct, Gary ran, his feet moving as fast as it could carry him. Now Gary was known to wear a vest but on this occasion he was not and Gary was said to have been chased around the underground car park by the lone trigger man and then they squeezed. Gary was shot eight times. Now after the incident, the man drove away before dumping the Audi and setting it ablaze near Blessington in Wicklow. Gary was taken to hospital where he was tragically pronounced dead six weeks later. Now when you're involved in a certain type of lifestyle, these situations do not happen by accident. It's not a coincidence either. Now Gary Carey was so hated that even after his M, rival gangs had recorded themselves defacing the place where he was buried. Stay safe, safe. <laughs>